and welcome back to the Suicide Owl Music Channel. Today I have a quick tip for you guys about picking technique and it's called slanting. You might have heard this term in some of my videos so I thought I'd shoot a quick one for you explaining what it is. One of the main challenges of right hand technique is getting from one string to the next and that can be quite frustrating but slanting is there to help you. You can hold the pick in a way that the tip points directly to the guitar body in a 90 degree angle. When you pick a note, the pick slides across the string and ends up between two strings, in this case between the G string and the B string, and it's trapped there between those two strings. However, if you slant the pick in a way that its tip points toward the ground, the pick will rise above the strings after an ups uh, a downstroke. Pop up, see, it's free. The pig is free. I, I'll turn myself here. Oh, I'm free. I'm free. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm free. I'm free. Okay, so just tilt your pig slightly so the tip points to the ground. Okay. Good. And when you do it the other way around, the tip of the pick points towards the ceiling. Now the pick will rise above the strings after every upstroke. Okay? I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> you can almost hear the pick saying, You know, I don't want to be trapped. I want to be free above the strings so I can jump from one string to the other string. I just want to shred awesome chops, so tilt me. Use slanting technique. Okay, you all heard what the pig said. Let's follow that advice. I mean, um, it's, it's an amazing pig, yo. So why exactly is it important that the pig is not being trapped between two strings? Because then we can go to the next string without touching another one. And that's what makes our playing sound much cleaner and much more professional. But there's a problem. Not every lick is slanting friendly. However, there are a bunch of amazing chops you can play with just one way of slanting, either upward pick slanting or downward pick slanting, without changing your pick angle during that very chop. And I'll release a collection of those in an upcoming video. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel because you don't wanna miss those videos. So make sure to hit that red button and the bell icon and you'll get notified if I load up a new one. And I'll see you in the next video.